Oh, my first flag. I'm on Hills Creek. December 28th. I was gonna go to Rose Valley today, but I have to change a coil pack in my truck and stuff, and I just didn't get it done yet, so I'm not gonna drive down there today. I'm not sure what's going on with my phone. And my camera here. It's not a spinner. I got my flag on the wrong side of the post anyway. Could have been the wind. My shanty just about took off. I had Chan, the fish warden, and then Potter County fish warden was here too. Working together. He stopped to talk to me for a while. I told him to stay because I usually have good luck when he's around. Later. I got my camera again today. I did see one bluegill already. So, I'm get that flag again. Crazy flag went off again. Same one. just now spinning something playing with it Took my mini. He took my mini. Go get a mini. I'm not even set up in my shanty yet. The wind belt blew it away once. I had to get my tie downs down. Now it's coming up. Damn it. I'm gonna kill the mini because I so small. My fumble fingers. It took it about three feet when it ran that time. Uh, got another flag. My cleats got full of snow in them. Little perchy. Yeah, I cut my mini. 
think Spurgey's still alive. Birch must not have any teeth. See what the best time to hunt and fish is today. I didn't check yet. Three twenty nine AM, three twenty nine or five twenty nine AM, four oh five PM and six oh five PM. Good times. Nine forty AM and ten forty AM. Oh, I missed it. We missed the good fishing. Oh well. That's okay. But I'm right in a bunch of where my uh, I'm right in where my points are here. Yeah. There's a guy up there fishing in my spot that I normally like. gone over on that tip up. I was just checking my minis. And this guy's going. Another little perch. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I caught... Eh, I'll put a new mini on. Yeah, put a new mini on. I got two perch on that same mini. I reused it. Yeah. Well, when do you want to go down and get a perch? How about you? I shut the door and I turned it off because it wasn't too bad in there. I put that real little me on here. But I don't think they like it. I'm gonna get this guy. something different with my camera today. I got it pointing straight down and I'm going to put my uh, a minnow on my jig down there and watch it today. I was really hoping to go to Rose Valley today. I hammered the fish there yesterday. I mean just hammered them. But nothing to keep. Did catch a really nice bass, but I didn't put him on 
can't. I, I had the camera on, but I didn't even catch the fish. I thought I even held it up in front of the camera. But... Apparently I didn't. I'm gonna put a small mini like this one. and see if a fish comes in. And you know that Garmin flasher? My Markham is so much more accurate than this Garmin. Um, my minnow is a foot off the bottom and it doesn't show on my flasher until I pick it up another six seven inches where my mark them I can actually see it hit right on the bottom so I'll probably use my mark them most of the time I wish I had a vexilar just to try one of them sometime but a lot of guys use those vexilars and they like them I guess this garment's good in the boat, but the flasher unit's not as accurate as if you put it on the regular screen, you can't see it until it's like two feet off the bottom. If the fish are suspended, that would be pretty cool because you could put it up three or four foot, five foot, watch them swim up to it, but I don't know. I just thought I'd bring the garment today. I've never used this five inch one on the ice. Just my seven inch and that eats the batteries up like you wouldn't believe. And I have everything shut off pretty much on it when I'm using it for ice fishing. It's just at once. <sighs> Two flags go off at the same time. not spinning and this one's not spinning. <laughs> Probably a little perch pulling on it. Take about a foot.
three little birch. Minnie's not too lively, but maybe some crazy pickerel or something will take it. I'm gonna put it up even further. See what happens. He was another one, little perch. I can feel him on there. He was running though. I just get back to the shanty and put another flag. It's running. A little, not very well. Feels a little better, but not much. Not much. I wish I could catch some keepers. Jeepers, creepers. something I get a flag. These guys are great driving me nuts. They just lay on the bottom. And I don't have my pliers. Oh. I don't have my pliers with me. Sorry. Sorry, fish. See my look right here, but he won't open his mouth. There. Do that for the birdies. batteries in my pump on my mini bucket but it's still doing good and I gotta change the hook on that
tip up over there because that's the one that's lost. Every time I go over there, the mini's gone. It's like one of them red laser hooks. I hate those things. They don't hold bait good. I'd be surprised if the minnow's on it. Feels like it is. Yeah, it's on there. how many times you pull up a tip up and check it put it back down and something will hit it isn't my chesty mount a lot better than my head mount because you don't see me swivel in my head looking at my clams all the time This thing keeps moving around on my beanie hat, my took, my took, and I don't know if the camera's straight angled or if I'm even pointing it at anywhere near where I want to be. This is where I can see the screen. Nothing there. Good though. Still Today I'm doing 12 turns. It's about three inches or so per turn. So I put the minnow down on the bottom to the line goes slack. That's actually not the minnow, that's actually my split shot that's six inches up. So I do 12 turns and that ends up about a foot and a half or a foot off the bottom. Just up over the weeds I'm hoping. I haven't seen a thing on my camera. Not a thing. I'm going to put it back down so it's level, that way I can pan it around and look. Right now I got it pointing straight down at my mini. But nothing's come in. I'm going to move. I'm going to move up to my better spot, hopefully. Nothing's happening down here, nothing on my camera, no big fish. Uh, we'll see. move. I'm going to pull my sled with me.
drill some holes and get set up here. I moved 60 yards, put my camera down there, and immediately seven perch on my camera. Immediately. They're looking at my jig, but they don't really want it. I don't know if you can see them. Nice perch too. I'm just gonna let it sit there. Just like that. <clears throat> see if they come over and take it. <sighs> Seven perched. Moving 60 yards. I'm at the, my favorite spot. One of my favorite spots, there was a guy here when I got here this morning, so I didn't come up here and crowd him. Because that's just the way I am. And all I caught down there is baby perch, and these ones are a little bigger. Well, we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll be back. I guess. Time for a coffee and a Belvita sandwich cookie. I just lost a bluegill that came in. Took a, I put a I put a minnow head on my hook, just the head. Boy, that bluegill come running right over and grabbed it, but the perch haven't looked at it yet. So I'm just gonna. Eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to eat my cookie. Man, those perch. <clears throat> Two perch came over and was fighting over that dog on minnow head. And when I moved it aggressively, the one just tore after it. And I can't find it on the camera. Trying to eat my cookie and drink my coffee. Now the fish are biting. Here's another one looking at it. So here's another one darting over. There's two down there right now. Three now. Got that one perch. Well, I'm eating my bologna and cheese. He's a little bigger one, but they, just, they sure look big on camera. Good bike. Another flag, another flag, another flag. The second one's the only one that's went off. Probably laying on the bottom again. Four inch perch. I should keep it in keep the eye and put it on that hook. And 
last I knew they had two eyes. Yeah, it's on there yet. Yeah. See, they're getting a little bigger. right there in your gills. If I can get it out. I can't get it out. Hmm. I just cut the hook off. Poor thing. a tackle shack before I go home tonight because I want to go to Rose Valley earlier in the morning and uh, I'm down to my last I think a dozen minnows in my fish aquarium and I'll tell you what I went through I went through a good god almost probably Close to two dozen minnows yesterday at Rose Island Lake. They were just eating them up like crazy. But it was pickerel. Well, like the warden told me, there's still fish. You know, I hate them. But oh boy, they were big ones yesterday. And I had a beautiful bass, a nice bass, probably 17 inches, 18 inches. And I held him up for the camera, but I had it on my head. And it wasn't even pointed nowhere near the... All you could see was the... All you could see was the... Little bit of it when I released it in the hole. <laughs> so I didn't even keep the footage. Nothing big in here biting. I mean, nothing big. Nothing big. Supposed to rain Saturday and Sunday. Of course, I don't come out Saturday and Sunday anyway, usually. Once in a great while. Let the weekenders have her. I like coming out during the week and less crowded. See all these little guys? That's all. Little guys, I mean, just little guys. Uh, well, if I had a pond to throw you in, I'm gonna throw you in there. Oh, I'm sorry. fish but if I was eating fish I would be starving like mom Ann says you can buy a lot of 
fish at Heinrich's Fish Market in Williamsport. Or would I spend fishing? But I don't think it's that much fun shopping in the store. You're sure a pain. You're sure a pain. What's going on here? Yeah. I'll give you one more chance while I'm gathering the other tip ups up. Boy, he took four foot of line. 